Something in your house could be making you sick. It's deadly. It might even be in the room with you right now. You might be holding it in your hand and it could kill you. You have to know what it is to protect you and your loved ones. We'll tell you later what it is that might be killing you and what you need to do to protect yourself. Welcome to Update Upchuck, September 7th, 2020. Happy Labor Day. Ready or not? Here we go. Democratic vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris has declined to say whether she would take an approved COVID-19 vaccine distributed ahead of the upcoming election. She said that she would not take President Trump's word that a vaccine was ready to be used. Well, Kamala, stop taking medical advice from Donald Trump. Why drag anything of his opinion on a vaccine into whether or not you would take the vaccine? Look to the actual trained professionals to make that kind of determination. Related to that, in an interview last week, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said political consideration would not affect the development of a vaccine. Azar continued, President Trump has made it clear, and I've made it clear, these decisions will be driven by the standards of science and evidence and FDA's gold standards. Lesson number one. When I need a, someone to work on my car, I don't go to the laundromat. And I don't go to President Trump when I need medical advice. I don't trust Donald Trump's medical advice as much as I trust that weak old chili in the refrigerator that made it possible to poop through a screen door while it was closed. He knows as much about vaccine as he does about the gastrointestinal inflammation process incurred by a weak old pot of chili in my refrigerator. By the way, Kamala, if you'd like to come over for lunch this week, I'd love to have you. We'll have chili. People stop looking to elected politicians for all your answers. At some point, you have to think for yourself and find valid answers on your own. Looky here, another news story to help us. Leading U.S. drug makers will sign a pact to produce a safe coronavirus vaccine amid concerns about shots being rushed to market before the presidential election. Two drug companies at the forefront of the U.S. race to develop a coronavirus vaccine, Moderna and Pfizer, are expected to join a pledge that promises to put safety before speed. A sneak peek into the early draft discloses the company's promise to only seek emergency FDA approval after final human trials show substantial evidence of safety and efficacy. See there, a pinky swear between a $202 billion company and a $24 billion company. Also to join in will be pharmaceutical company Johnson & Johnson and French pharmaceutical company Sanofi. A statement could be released as early as next week. In COVID testing news, Abbott Laboratories have received FDA emergency use authorization for a $5, 15-minute COVID-19 antigen test. They are also offering a mobile app that could assist in our return to daily life. The Abbott Binax Now COVID-19 antigen card is a rapid, reliable, highly portable, affordable tool for detecting active coronavirus infections. The test delivers results in only 15 minutes without the need for costly or advanced instrumentation. The company will be offering a no-cost phone app, which allows people to display their Binax Now test results when asked by organizations where people gather, such as workplaces and schools. This paired combination of testing and resulting could be huge, especially with the lack of an approved vaccine or lack of desire for taking a vaccine. There's options, folks. The company will ship tens of millions of tests in September, then ramping up to 50 million tests a month at the beginning of October. Oh, you know what I'm going to say. Oh, stock tip. That's potentially tens of millions of tests just here. It could turn into billions of tests if it goes worldwide. Stock ticker ABT. Remember, folks, I'm not a licensed financial advisor or anything like that. Just another idiot on the Internet, just for entertainment purposes. It could be making you sick. It could be killing you and your loved ones. You have to know what it is. And we will tell you right now if it didn't already get you. It's your phone. 
the average cell phone has 18 times more bacteria than a public restroom. That's only half the amount of the pot of chili sitting in my fridge right now. Recent studies showed that the majority of phones have fecal matter on them due to always being taken into the bathroom. Well, you might need to call 911 after eating the chili from my fridge. Clean your phones, help stop the spread. Use disinfectant cleaners or get a UV disinfecting box for your phone and other items. Oh, Kamala, remember, it's an open invitation. I'll have lunch ready. That's my upchuck for today. Be safe, be smart, be wise, and welcome to the new normal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>